Hello, sweeties. It's me, Sweetie. Welcome back to another video about ants. And, uh, alright, look, I know I just put up, I know we already put up a warning about this, but, uh, just in case you need to hear it, um, this episode contains mentions of slavery. So if that's something that bothers you, uh, I recommend clicking off the video. For everyone else, let's just get into this. There are some concepts out there that people just assume are human exclusive. Like, for example, there's a surprisingly high amount of early sci-fi that act like humans are the only animals that kill for fun instead of just for food. However, that's pretty untrue. Uh, predators will sometimes kill prey, uh, not for eating, just because they're but just because they're bored. And of course, uh, orcas and cats are pretty infamous for the fact that uh, they'll often torture their food before they finally decide to eat it. Uh, war is another thing. People always assume that only humans can engage in war. That's also not true. Chimpanzee tribes have been seen declaring war on each other, so there's that. And one thing that seems like it would have to only be a human thing is slavery. But, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, um, that's not entirely true either. These are slave-making ants. Now, that title doesn't refer to any species or genus. Rather, it's more like a behavior descriptor, uh, referring to the behavior that some genuses of ants will uh, display. In these ant colonies, only queens and soldiers are born. There are no worker ants. So how do these ants function? Well, what these guys will do is that they will sneak into the colony of another ant species, usually a close relative of theirs for reasons I'll discuss later, whereupon they will kill the queen and any other ant who opposes them. Then they'll kidnap the larva and bring them back to their own colony, where the ant will get raised thinking that it's actually in its own species colony because they're so similar in appearance. And like the title suggests, these ants are basically slaves, performing pretty much every action in the colony that the uh, slave that the slavers don't do, such as such as construction or foraging or taking care of the young. However, for the ants that take care of the young, that can prove to be a downfall for the slave-making ants. For you see, some of these ants will actually realize that they're not act that they're not with their own kind, and thus will start a rebellion. What they'll do is that they will slaughter as many as many of the larvae as possible, therefore decreasing the number of the slaver ants. Well, that's slave maker ants for you. Let's look at the card. Alright, this card has a problem of the fact that it only lists one genus. Uh, as I said earlier, slave maker ants are more of a job description than a species description. So, 9 out of 10. Uh, pretty much no one talks about these things and they're not in media. Well, that's all for this episode of Tiny Terrors. Uh, I apologize for the lack of jokes, but this isn't really a subject that you should joke about. Well, see you guys next time. Bye.